Well, it's 2021, and uh, everybody's still panicking about uh, COVID-19, right? Not a whole lot's changed since this time last year. I mean, a lot has changed, but not a whole lot has changed in a lot of people's minds. Uh, but are we people of panic? No. We're people of Jesus Christ, which means we're people of peace. People of, uh, that, have, that have peace, that passes all understanding, that guards our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus. Paul talked about that. He said, be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication. And then he says, with thanksgiving. You're tempted to worry. Start being thankful. Start counting your blessings. You remember the old hymn, right? Count your blessings. Name them one by one. God has blessed us in so many ways. But you know, we usually end that verse and then just close the book. But you know, the, that verse goes on. Okay, the, the, next, the next verse, we know it as well, but we rarely link the two. It says, finally, brethren, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is of good repute, if there's any excellence in anything worthy of praise, dwell on these things. Amen. What do we do in the middle of a pandemic? We turn on the news and we start to worry, don't we? Praise the Lord. We need to turn off the news and we need to open our Bibles. We need to start focusing on the things that are true. What is true? What is honorable? What is right? What is lovely? What is God's word? And the Christ that we serve. Amen? Amen. So this is a new song that, that Shannon wrote. We'd like you to sing it with us. And it talks about giving thanks to the Lord our God. That's what it's called. Give thanks to the Lord our God.
those of you who have seen our family uh, in the last uh, four months, I know there's a few of you who were there at the thing down in Virginia, and of course we were at your church, and uh, you realized it was just Karen and me when we were there. And uh, that was because, I, I mean, uh, Shannon and me, it's because Karen was uh, resting at home. She, uh, January 1st, we all got COVID, and uh, most of us were okay with it. Uh, Karen wound up in the hospital and wound up on a ventilator for 16, 17 days. And, uh, and uh, we just, just trusted the Lord through it. That's all, that's all you can do with that. The Lord uh, restored her. This is, this is the first time she's singing a whole concert. Amen. 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 So, the Lord goes to God because it's all part of God's providence, you know. Um, I don't want to use, you know, I, I don't want to use the word miracle because I don't want to diminish actual true miracles, you know. But this is God's providence, and that's no less amazing Amen. that God would choose to, to use, not only bring her back to us, but to use this situation to grow our family close to him through it. Amen. And, uh, and so uh, we're, we're thrilled to be here. We're thrilled to have Karen here Amen. singing. So... Uh, and uh, it, it's just a joy to do that. We wrote this next song, in fact, before the whole COVID thing happened. <laughs> and it's kind of funny when, when you write a song to minister to other people, and then something happens in your life where the song that you wrote comes back on you yeah. and ministers to you. And that's what the, this song did throughout that whole time. And I hope it blesses you as much as it has blessed us in the last four months. It's called Year's End. Yeah. 
called the gift of faith.